on the 13 year old girl on life support at Children's Hospital Oakland. Uh, Crown Force Will Trent live right now uh, with uh, the attorney. Well, well, the attorney plans to walk into the courthouse any moment now to present to a judge why they believe Jahai McMath should continue to be on life support. I managed to convince him to give us a few moments to give his side of the story. We know that the McMath family, they would like, at the very least, to keep Jahai on life support until past Christmas so they could at least say their final goodbyes. What do you plan to tell the judge this morning, sir? Well, we're going to file papers with the judge asking for a temporary restraining order to prohibit them from moving, removing her from life support, to order them to allow an outside doctor to come in and conduct an examination, to order them to produce the medical records, to give her a feeding tube, and to start trying to keep her alive rather than kill her. The hospital claims it would love to tell their side of the story, that they believe there are a lot of misperceptions. That's their word. Why is the family not allowing them to go before news cameras, before reporters like myself who want to ask them tons of questions? Why is the family not allowing them to do so at this time? The family's never said they can't. What this family has said is, you explain to us first why our daughter wound up here before you go and try to tell it to the papers. And they haven't done that. I welcome the opportunity to sit down in a room with anybody from that hospital where everybody's in that same room, so there's no back and forth, you said, he said, she said, and have a frank discussion about what's happened here. So in other words, tell the family first before you go before the cameras. Right. Don't you think this family has the right to know why their daughter's on life support, what went wrong? This hospital's not going to talk about that. What they're going to talk about is their definition of debt why they don't give out medical records until somebody has finished treatment. In this case, the family was told that, and, and the Uncle Omari looked at them and said, well, you just told us she was dead, so hasn't she finished treatment? Because you just told us you're not giving her treatment anymore. And he said, well, maybe yes, maybe no. That was what they told this family. So if they want to come tell you something else, they should tell that family first. Without this injunction, can the hospital go in there right now and start the, the procedure to take her off life support? Will this injunction guarantee it, should you get it? Well, we hope if, they, if this injunction comes through, they can't do it. I mean, this is the law. Right now, I think if there are people of good conscience and they care about children and families, they won't barge their way into that room and pull out a plug. I think if they do that, that it's absolutely abhorrent. The family aren't, some of them aren't here right now because they're afraid that's going to happen. So I need to get inside and try to get them what they need. Okay, thank you so much. By the way, are you going to ask for a specific amount of time or indefinite? We're asking for there to be a hearing that's put out in January so that we can have the experts conduct the review. They can put together evidence and a judge can hear the evidence and determine whether or not she should be kept on life support. So at least until January? At least. Okay, thank you so much for him taking the time to talk to us. That's Christopher Dolan. As you you can see he's going into the courthouse and he was nice enough to give me a few minutes to answer some of the questions still out there. I'm going to walk in there. I will find out whether or not he gets the injunction that the Big Math family is looking for. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks for the update, Will.